speaking of haters, Adam Shine Sheen. Sheen. Maybe this is way of. Do you, are you familiar with this guy? No. Nope. Beforehand. Uh, JB, are you familiar with this name beforehand? Adam Sheen, Shine, I whatever. I do not know who that is. Uh, Chris, you know, fairly new to the, the football world, being a football fan. Have no you clue. heard this guy's name? Play the fucking video. This fucking Roll the hater, fucking man. tape. Fucking punk. Try and get his name on here. It's official. We have an opponent for the Kansas City Chiefs for the season opener to kick off the 2023 campaign. The Detroit Lions. Be rebuilding since 1957. Detroit Lions going to kick off the season. Wait, what? I cannot believe this is the kickoff game. And don't misinterpret, right? I like the Lions. I like the Lions story. I have always defended the Lions on Thanksgiving. I think the Lions are going to win the NFC North this year. I like Dan Campbell. I called Jared Goff the second best quarterback in the regular season last year in the NFC behind Jalen Hurts. I love their draft. You know, I gave him an A+. I love the running back, the linebacker in round one. I love the process. I love it all. But look at this list of choices. How do you pick the Lions? The perfect team was Miami. The Tyree kill welcome back to Arrowhead game. He's going to throw up the peace sign and run for a touchdown. And you put that game in Frankfurt? Makes no sense. All right, the Bills. All right, the Bengals. You're going to feature them elsewhere. We'll get to the Buffalo week number one game in a second. Cincinnati and Kansas City. That's going to be on the NFL and CBS. New Year's Eve, week 17. That's amazing. How about the Chargers and Justin Herbert? How about the Super Bowl? So so fuck you, buddy. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you, Andrew Jonah. He, yeah. looked like, he looked a lot like Andrew Jonah. He really did, but... Hating ass. Hating ass, bro. Hating ass. Why is he hating on the shine? Listen, Sheen's she, hating, on, she's the hating shine. on the shine. But like we said, have you heard of him? Never. Chris, have you heard of him? No. JB, have you heard of him? I don't know who that nerd is. Maybe he's trying to get his name out there because you know the Lions are... Ah. Yeah, right he's now. trying to ride those That's what tail. he's trying to do. He's trying to ride the fucking wave. Hell no. Never let an Ethan Roger wave. No. Yeah, that's facts. Sorry that Ethan threw me off there. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, I, mean, it, 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 I know. Yeah. That's yeah, a you thing. That's me. I can't I can. but no, he's You like, can say it. The guy, I, goes, I can't. the guy goes, I'm not hating, but all of these other options, every single other option yeah. would have been a good he option. The, it's the, like, the bro, Dolphins are the yeah. best game? Yeah. The Eagles would be the Thank best you. team. Yeah, Thank for you. sure. That would that'd be the team. Eagles or Bengals. Yeah, that, that those, those are the only make other the two. Most sense. Yeah. The only other two. Is it still? If you put it on, like, is it is a, the schedule still there? You, you pause. You don't have to play. I just want to see yeah, like, yeah. the teams that like were there. Yeah, I'll, for the I'll choosing. Pull it, I'll pull it up. Is the Lions were number one? No, I'm just kidding. They're not number one. Honestly, Chiefs are probably number one. I mean, the Eagles. Eagles are number one. So yeah, you get so, you so get your Super Bowl rematch. Oh, champs, the rematch. Yeah, pause this pause this fucking nerd. Right? Oh, oh, bring it back a little bit. There he goes. Yeah. Okay. Well. the there it is. Right. Denver Broncos. Who the fuck wants to see the the worst fucking offense? Nobody wants to see the Broncos. The worst fucking offense from last season, week one. You're banking on that that team to fucking be. brother. Russell Wilson, Jerry Judy. Yeah. They had pieces. The 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 Jimmy Garoppolo Vegas Raiders. That's who you're trying to see. Get them. Yeah, exactly. Fuck them too. The no, fuck no, no. I want to back up the. I, I need. I, I want to look at these teams. I, I don't want by heart. Get the fuck out of here with this shit. All right, I can pause on my, my the screen. The fucking the Bears? Bears? The Chicago The fucking Bears? Bears? And then everyone picking a fucking draft and even take a fucking quarterback with it. What are you going to get out of the Chicago Bears? Yeah. What are we doing? What's this guy talking about? The fucking clown. Miami Dolphins. Tua Tungvaloa, one of the most boring fucking quarterbacks in the entire NFL. Yeah, Mr. Fucking Gang Sign, Mob Life, all that shit. Cancel me if you want for that one. I don't give a fuck. The only other teams I'd accept. So dope. Fucking hoes. Maybe the Chargers. Right. Definitely the Eagles and definitely the Bengals and maybe the Bills. Yeah. That's it. But for the Broncos to be in the list. The Broncos, the Bears, the Bears be and the list. Raiders. That's a fucking... Come on, bro. Like, who are... Sheen hating on the shine. You fucking nerd. Like, dude, fuck stop it. Stop it. Fucking... I don't know. I can't believe you even put the fucking Bears on that list. That, yeah. How, how do you how do you put that on the list? And, and like, yeah, this, this is going to go over well. Like, I'm not going to look like a fucking complete dumbass. Yeah, let's put the Chicago Bears on there. Like, eat a dick. You a dick. They just had the number one overall pick. Traded away. There's no like new shiny pieces. They, they took a fucking offensive tackle with their first overall pick. Like, there's nothing to sell there. What are you selling me at the Chicago Bears? Justin Fields? The guy who's been in the league two years now? Two fucking years now? Yeah. And all he's been able to show you that he can run a little bit? Like it's not like he was a rookie last year, guys. Mm -hmm. That was his sophomore season. I, I, like there was no development from year one to year two, and now we're expecting year three. He's gonna do it. He's gonna fucking take over the league. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. 
But I'm not feeling that one. He, he might be good. He might be sufficient. But he ain't no fucking MVP guy you want to put out in the field and showcase in week one. But yeah, the fucking 2023 Chicago Bears. Nobody's fucking saying the 2023 Chicago Bears outside of another dumbass named Adam and fucking Adam Rink. Yeah. Oh, I hate that Those guy. are the only human beings. This guy and fucking Sheen and... I don't know, dog. I'm just not... I'm not buying that shit. I'm not. Eagles only one I accept because it's a Super matchup. That's about it. That's about it. Yeah. And Bengals. The Lions have the, the, arguably the most hype around them out of any team in the NFL so far this offseason. Everybody's been talking about them. You don't think putting them center stage with one of the most ride-or-die fan bases in all of professional sport? Come on, now. Come on, now. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? The fucking Bears? The Bears. The Raiders? Jimmy Garoppolo and the Raiders? Stop it, buddy. Get some help. Hey. <laughs> hey, do you guys hear me? Yeah, yes, what's sir. going on, Perry? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I appreciate y'all taking my call. <clears throat> and I heard that bullshit Adam Shane was saying as well. But uh, after the, the schedule came out, I wanted to tune in to Kansas City Radio this morning just to see what they were saying about the Lions. Man, and I'm going to tell you, dog, the disrespect was so egregious, man. Mm. I mean, they were just sitting all on the Lions, dog. And I, <clears throat> I'm going to a game this year. I was trying to decide whether it was going to be Kansas City, Green Bay, or Dallas. And those all three on my bucket list, man. But, man, I, it's got to be Kansas City, man, based on what I was hearing today, though. They just, like, looking past, like, basically sitting on the Lions, and this is what they said. This is, like, the ultimate anybody in watch game. And they was going to give it to us because by week 12, we was going to be fostering, hollering, let's fire the coach. You know what I'm mean? saying? I mean, though, they, 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 they talking about 17-0 for Kansas City Chiefs. Man, those are some arrogant-ass fans. And I'm, I understand they, they had Patrick Mahomes, and they were champs. You know what I'm saying? But, mm-hmm. dog. Like you said, man, they didn't, they're not putting Detroit on the schedule, you know, just thinking it's going to be a smooth fest. You know what I'm saying? They they hope they expecting a good game. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm telling you, man, the, the disrespect was so real. But I, I'm just hoping that fucking Aiden Hutchinson and James Houston fucking tear Mahomes' ass, not literally, but <laughs> knock his ass out the game. Calm I want to see Jack Sam. Campbell. I want to see Jack. I want to see Jack Campbell. Fucking lay Kelsey out over the middle, dog. Yeah. I just wanted to be a fucking bloodbath. They go in, crash the party, yeah. look and see the banner in the ring, say, yeah, that's what the fuck yeah. coming for, and just fucking, fucking take the shit on their ass right in the middle of their field. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so hyped, dog. I love y'all so, man. But I just had to let y'all know, dog, the disrespect was so real. And, man, I just want to see their ass get laid the fuck out by the Lions, man. Perry, I, I already put money hyped. on to win the Super Bowl. I already put money on to win the Super Bowl. I mean, because the odds was great. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't saying they necessarily going to do it, but the odds was too good to pass up. But I really sure. do believe that they're going to host the NFC Championship game, man. They're at, at no worse the third third best team in the NFC Fair. right now, man, behind Philadelphia and the 49ers, man. Who, really, who else fucking with them, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, Nobody. y'all have a good show, man. Y'all do your thing, man. Keep doing it. Let's fucking you know go, Perry. Oh, appreciate go, you, brother. Bro, I appreciate you, Perry. That's a you got me on the seat. I'm fucking hyped for this shit. That's what I'm talking about. Keep talking that shit, Kansas City. Keep sleeping on the lines. I know, I know, I respect you. You got Patrick Mahomes, MVP, two times Super Bowl chance. Keep talking that shit. I want to see, like you said, Jack Campbell. Slap that ass, Travis Kelsey, hey, across yo. the middle. I want to see Aiden Hudson walk up to Patrick Mahomes and <gasps> slam this Kermit ass on the ground, dude. Oh, my God. Perry got me juiced. I don't know about the Super Bowl, but Perry got me juiced. <laughs> oh, I'm, ready. Oh, yeah. I'm ready for this week one. I'm ready for it. But that's what I'm saying, man. The Kansas City Chiefs, like, that's why... No matter how you look at this, the KC Chiefs game, like good or bad, that like you don't want them to start the season off with a loss. You don't want them to start the season off. What other situation? Having the Chiefs keeps them fucking hungry. Yeah. That, that, that fucking infused joint, that infused pre-roll from Dispo that Dan Campbell's passing around and having them puff and buy in on, <laughs> continues to keep fucking rolling because they keep getting slept on. They keep getting shit on. Oh, they're going to get fucking dog walked by the Chiefs. Why did they put them up against the Chiefs? It's a fucking stupid game to open the season with. They, Dan Campbell keeps continuing to feed them that narrative. Yeah. They kept them hungry last year. They don't have to fucking buy into the, the hype like, oh, yeah, the guy's like third best team in the NFC. Like, no. Because you're starting a fucking week one, you have to be fucking on your fucking A game, or you're going to get embarrassed after getting hyped up and gassed up the entire offseason. You know what all this shit is? Couldn't be a better week one matchup. This is all fucking bulletin board material. Keep talking that shit. Keep sleeping. All you guys in Kansas City, you don't watch the fucking Lions. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. No, no, no. I remember when you guys came into Detroit, we had Matt Patricia, and you needed a fucking hook and lateral to save the game. So stop it. 
So stop it. They're hungry. They're coming for you. And you keep sleeping. I know the team isn't. Andy Reid is too good of a coach. This team is too disciplined. They've been there before. But fuck all you Kansas City fans talking that shit. I hope the Lions come out there and fuck it. Put that dick on the table Whoa. and just fuck Kansas City out of the arrowhead. <laughs> Perry got me hyped up, man. Perry got me juiced up. Not gonna lie. I don't. I don't. Again, Super Bowl. You had Jack Campbell slap someone in the ass and you pulled dicks on the table. <laughs> Pump the brakes a little bit on the Super Bowl, Perry. I understand you said it was just for the for the odds. Can't hit on that, but Perry got me. Perry got me hyped up. No, that, that, this is the exact I'm reason why. I'm a big time. <laughs> <laughs> what? It feels like you're laughing, but like it sounds like you're breathing heavy. Get yeah. back into the seat. You're like, <laughs> it's really like you just like laughing. <laughs> All right. No, no, I'm on the fucking. <laughs> For every reason, I, I don't know. I'm talking about reiterate. This team, this team doesn't have any time to buy into the hype around them. They don't have time to buy into, you know, being the NFC's third or fourth best team. There's no time to buy into Super Bowl bets. Because week one, they're facing the Super Bowl champion this entire offseason. And now they got vets, guys have played against the Super Bowl champions in the Super Bowl. And CJ DJ, giving them the news like, yeah, these guys don't fucking play. Yeah. Like, hey, you practicing like that? That shit ain't going to cut this it. shit's not going to fly. I've been the fucking big yeah. game against the big team. That shit ain't fine. Get your sorry ass off the fucking field. You know, that's going on. Cam Sutton. Steelers fucking just missed the playoffs last mm-hmm. year. How crazy is that too. shit? They just missed the playoffs last year. If the Miami Dolphins didn't fucking summon the playoffs, or they, I think they had to lose or win the last week, and then that's how they made it in over the Steelers. Cam Sutton come from that too. Playoff, playoff, playoffs. You want to make the playoffs? That shit ain't going to cut it. You get your ass up, Brooke. <laughs>